a curious thing in translating, in, in publishing books in translation. Almost always you have a book in the original language. A book comes from Sweden, which had already been translated. And in my experience, this I never met. And as I said, he died before the first book was published of a heart attack, aged 50, terrible. While he was still alive, the text in Swedish went to a Swedish film company. And they read it, and they loved it. And they said, we will buy it immediately, which made the author very happy. And the next thing we will do is we will have a translation and we will sell it to the BBC or to Hollywood. So they said to the publisher, you will, if we buy the film rights, you have to put the book into English. He finished this 1500 page work inside one year. It was a miracle. English text, and as I said, it was turned down by 18 publishers because they looked at it and they probably weighed it and they said, oh my God, by the way, in, in Sweden, it's not called um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. That was my fault. Um, it's called Men Who Hate Women. And I went once to a, a conference of librarians. and I, There were 300 people in the room. I said, if this book had been called Men Who Hate Women, would you, who would have bought it? Three people in the room said they would buy it. The French title is Men Who Do Not Love Women, which means something completely different. The success of all of those novels lies in the passionate admiration that readers have for this young, violent, very clever, very troubled woman. And I, I love that book. And I, as I said, 13 and a half million people bought in England two years ago. The agent that I described sends 80 pages of the beginning of the Condor Heroes. I read them. And I couldn't put it down. I was enchanted by the way he was telling stories. 